have too many lobsters and don't know what to do with them. Love Panda Express but don't want to pay the extra dollar twenty-five for a couple pieces of shrimp. Then come on, let's go to my kitchen. I'll show you how it's done. Honey walnut shrimp, or lobster in this case, is a pretty awesome dish and it's a lot easier than you think. All you're gonna need is an egg, some cornstarch and oil to fry the lobster in, and then some condensed milk, mayo, and honey for the sauce. And of course, your lobster, which we're gonna garnish with green onions, and your walnuts, which we're gonna roast with some sugar. So now you're gonna take your lobster and inspect it. Check the membrane in the back to make sure there's that clear V. If it's all white, then it's bad. Next, cut the lobster tail in half so that you can easily remove all the stuff that you don't want. Remove the entrails as you see here. And then remove the guts, the paddle pancreas, stuff that you don't want to eat. Then carefully separate the meat from the shell, keeping it in a nice whole piece. Here on this channel, we never waste the head. There's a ton of meat in here, so let's go get it. Trim off any excess meat that you see and reserve it. Use scissors if you have to. There's a ton of meat in here, so really dig deep and don't waste it. The yellow stuff is the paddle pancreas. You can eat it if you want. And here's one of the antennules. Remember the spiny crab leg that I keep talking about? Well, I'm gonna use scissors to cut it open while it's raw, and that way I can peel out the meat easily. You can even do that with the legs. Just cut it open with the scissors and peel out the meat. All the segments come out really nice and you don't waste it. Okay, so let's make the batter. Take an egg, crack it, and then separate the egg yolk from the white. Now this part may require some delicate procedure, but you can do it. There you go. Now we're gonna make the sauce. You need a quarter cup of mayo and a couple tablespoons of condensed milk. Add some honey to that, then give it a mix. Hmm, needs more mayo. By now these guys should be done. So once you see they're about golden brown, take them out to the drying rack and let them sit. Okay, now you don't have to do this part, but frying this shell does make for a good presentation of the pictures that I'm seeing. Alright, now let's do the walnuts. So this is just a dry pan or a dry wok, and I'm just going to roast the walnuts over high for a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna add the sugar. Now be careful because the sugar will burn. So keep that moving and then add some water because it's just gonna start burning and stuff. Add enough to make like a tiny little bit of soup, but make sure it reduces at the end. I just took a ton of pictures because my food looks delicious, but um, it only matters if it tastes good. So let's give it a go. Um, I'll go with uh, some of those candy walnuts first. I'm trying to do this fast. Mmm, right not bad. Okay, I prefer the ones that I buy more. I gotta figure that one out. Let's try some of the lobster though. Ooh, look at that. Look at that glaze. It's perfect, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes just so good. It's not crunchy anymore, though. Mmm. It's hard to master the crunch when you're frying your own food, but it, it definitely tastes right. Mmm. Wow. Honey walnut lobster. Mmm. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Mmm! That's so good. Mmm. Hope you found that useful. Go out, use your excess lobster. Don't go to Pan Express. Make your own honey walnut. It is so easy and it's so good. See you guys next time.